gets harder to hold on. Being so far away from Ollie means I depend on him texting me just to feel a bit of love from him. But more often than not, it ends up turning into an argument. I'm letting go of you. It hurts for me to say this. I don't it is the same argument with me and him over and over again. He'll be online, he won't reply. And I just think, like, why are you not replying to me? Like, why? If you love me, why are you not replying? And I don't want to nag, like, I don't want to be that girlfriend, but it just annoys me so, like, so much. Looking for something new. Hello. Hi, David. Yeah, are you? All right. Ollie's always telling me I start the bickers, but I don't think that's completely true. Do you actually think it's all me? Yeah. Do you? 25%. What, no, nothing to you? No, no, never. I just feel really angry all the time. I know, I don't know why. Neither do I. I haven't even done that wrong. You just call him one. And then because I won't argue with you, you go in one more and say I'm distant. Yeah, because you just seem like you just don't care. Yeah, I don't, obviously I care, but I'll just, just speak tomorrow when we're both sound, do you know what I mean? That's not the adult thing to do, rather than just sit and argue for three hours I've already spoke about. Yeah. How do we fix it? I don't know. Like, something, something has got to give, do you know what I mean? Like, you just relax and not be so... Argument all the time, do you know what I mean? Ollie's right, I need to change. But I worry that's easier said than done. I think it comes down to that you can't make someone else happy when you're not happy yourself. And I just don't feel like my happiest right now. So Ollie's getting the, the brunt of it. There's no problem with me and Ollie. It's not a relationship issue that we've got to like sort out ourselves. I think it's me and I feel like I need to start making steps to make myself feel a little bit better and a bit happier. Chasing dreams is what we do. Somebody once told me, don't give up, you never lose. That's true. After the chat with Sheena, I'm more convinced than ever that Steve and I need to be following the same routines with the boys to keep it consistent. So I'll just sit here. I've come up with a plan to make bedtime easier, but the hard part will be getting Steve to stick to it. If we're not going to do the same parenting, let's at least do the same routine. Like, surely we can do that. And yeah, so I'm going to tell him my new little routine. And I've got the boys more than him. So I feel like Steve should kind of support me with that because it's not the other way around. And let's just see if we can see an improvement because, like I said, we're not going to know if we don't try. Right, so obviously our little talking stick, well, my talking stick strategy, she likes that idea, so that's something what we definitely need to do, yeah? Pretend this is a talking stick, right, so I've got a talking stick, I'm talking right at the bit in time, okay? And blah, 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 you're not allowed to interrupt me until you've got this talking stick, okay? Yeah, this okay? is what I'll be like. Mm. Yeah, so you're gonna have to bite your lips, right? Your lips are probably gonna be all bruising because all my, my time you're gonna bite them until I stop speaking, okay? And then I finish now, so... So if I hold this, that means you never speak? Hallelujah. Right. <laughs> Sheena said that mine and your parenting needs to be consistent, OK? So, to do with that, Brooklyn's sleeping. I'm going to introduce my... this a new routine, yeah? Yeah. But you need to be... Consistent. Exact. Consistent. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, right. <laughs> One, two, three, and all is all. It's nice to be having a laugh, and it does actually feel like Steve's paying attention. My talking stick idea is totally working, and I know my bedtime plan will too. When it starts to get, like, an hour-ish before bed, I'm going to settle down with him. For about 20 minutes, we're going to, like, draw some pictures or do his homework or something, something, like, relaxing, yeah? Mm -hmm. So it kind of calms him down, you know, he's not rushing about. I'm not going to let him have a TV or a tablet or anything. 
I've been chasing you down. You bully no fun straight away. Something I can possess. No TV, mm, no mm. tablet, okay? Mm -hmm. He gets to stay up an hour later now anyway. So no TV. So what are you going to do today? Right, give him half an hour. No, get off uh, me. Go give on, him half an hour with a TV. Tell him half an hour. If you uh, sleep, it's not taking anything away from you. It's, it's rewarding good behaviour. No, no, please, please, please don't do my son over that. Give me the stick. Please don't. Just give him half an hour. No. Please. No, Steve. No, and you seriously need to be on board, though. Right, so I need you to do the same, though, Steve. Why are you so obsessed with him watching the TV? I it's not the TV, it's a way I see outcomes and situations right. to be better. I'll tell you something then. I'll right, tell you do it your way. That's it. I swear I'll tell you something. No, do I'll, I'll no, do it. A don't, week trial. Don't. A week trial. I'll, I'll Thank you. give Please you the feedback that. at the end. Please do no, that, not with the TV. Without the TV. Right, well, there you go. And I'll right, see, I'll, right, we'll right. see if we see a difference. Yes. I'm not going to fight for you because I don't fight. Apparently, I can't do anything right. How are we meant to be consistent if Steve won't work together. I'm not gonna keep going around in circles. Like, if you don't wanna do it, fine. But I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna see a difference in my household, like, 100%. I'm convinced Brooklyn's behavior would improve if he got a good night's sleep consistently. And maybe if Steve saw it working, he'll get on board too.